The first one is no smoking, okay? Smoking is the first one we're going to talk about because it's so very, very important. Smoking is terrible for wound healing. It's a vasoconstrictor, that which means it cuts down on the good stuff that needs to flow to the site to heal properly. So if you are having a fire and you want to put the fire out, you want a hose that pours a lot of water on the fire, right? If you have a hose that you're, you're constricting, you don't put the fire out. In this case, we want a lot of blood to go to the site because it carries all the mediators necessary for proper healing. And smoking gets in the way of that. It also is chemically toxic, right? It has carbon monoxide in it. Carbon monoxide gets in the way of hemoglobin attachment. It blocks oxygen up to six hours when it attaches to the hemoglobin, which prevents proper wound healing. So you can see that if we are smoking prior to, during, and after an oral surgery, you can really, really end up with a lot of complications if you're smoking.